And Janice, here's another look at the victims killed in the shooting. Writer John McNamara, Gerald Fishman, who's an editorial page editor, Wendy Winters, the special publications editor, and Rebecca Smith, a sales assistant. Another victim, of course, assistant editor and columnist Rob Hyacin, he has South Florida ties. In fact, he's a Fort Lauderdale native. He worked for the Palm Beach Post as well. He's also the brother of longtime Miami Herald columnist Carl Hyacin. So let's go right now to Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul. He's live outside the Miami Herald with reaction today. Ian? Christy, this is a newsroom that is really in mourning today. Obviously, Carl, a longtime member of the Herald staff here, uh, his nephew, Rob's nephew, was working here only until a few years ago, and his nephew's wife is still working here as well. This is a big loss, not only for the journalism community, but for the South Florida community as a whole. As the pandemonium calmed in Annapolis on Thursday, the names of the victims began to emerge. One of them, Robert Hyacin, has strong ties to the South Florida community. We just began to wait to see if we would hear from him. And after a period of time, we realized we weren't going to. Amy Driscoll is an editor at the Miami Herald. She worked with Rob when they were both young reporters at the Palm Beach Post. He was initially hired there to report on the local government, but quickly moved over to feature writing. His writing was lyrical and beautiful but also um, smart and funny. Rob had a great sense of humor, but he also was a great uh, writer and storyteller, and, and those gifts were really evident. Frank Cherubino was another one of Rob's friends from The Post. He says when he got the alert, he reached out to Rob through social media, sending him this tweet saying, my heart breaks for you today, Rob. I hope you're safe and sound, but he never heard back. And it went, you know, for minutes to hours. It just, you know, I started to imagine the worst. And then when I heard it, it was just, uh, it's just unfair, you know. After his time at the Post, Rob moved to the Baltimore Sun and then to Annapolis, where he was the assistant managing editor and a columnist. On Friday, his brother Carl, a well-known journalist from the Miami Herald, spoke on CNN about the tragedy and about gun violence in general. As we watched what's been happening in this country and every, you know, this, this tragedy will eventually uh, fall out of the headlines and, and a few weeks from now we'll be replaced by another one with with uh, uh, victims and, and families grieving just as ours is. He leaves behind his wife Maria and three kids. Just last week, he and Maria celebrated their 33rd anniversary. Her birthday was yesterday, the same day as that attack. We're live in Doral, Ian Margul, Local 10 News.